Hi, welcome to Wombat. It stands for Waste of Money, Brains and Time, which is what these videos are really. Uh, what's been happening? I, I've downloaded a, a collection of discs and I've been going through them. They're called the Dutch Collection. The, uh, so far there's 10 400 meg zips. I found them on a, uh, on a Facebook group. Uh, somebody who's owned Amigas in the past uh, so today we're just gonna, just gonna have a look at a few things this is my workbench 1.3 uh, install uh, obviously you can see I've stolen that icon off the, off the Amiga format cover disc I'm just gonna have a look at a few a few hacks The first one I want to show you is called Drop Cloth, which is the program that's putting that little logo in the in the uh, corner of the screen. If you click on one, it'll re click on it, it'll remove it. And if you you can put another one in, obviously that one's the Mega Format logo. Uh, I suspect it came off an Amiga format cover discs, which is <laughs> why that one's there. Or you know, it's just an IFF file with uh, you know for in, done in four colours. And there's the butterfly. I'll put that one back, and you can see where you see where you are. Right, workbench fun. These are some just some you know little things that make make workbench do strange things. My first one's melt. Why you'd want to do that, I don't know. But you know somebody somebody spent the time writing these things, so I might as well. Uh, it's, it's just an animation. It's quite good. I quite like that. Uh, Wubba Wave does that. Looks like something's uncompressed. Uh, D mouse, drunken mouse. Adds two, uh, two extra pointers. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like one of the power ups from our type, if you ask me. But never mind. And the last one's flip, which does that, but it only flips half the screen for reasons. I don't quite understand. Probably something to do with the fact that I'm using an interlaced screen and it doesn't know about them. The other thing in this draws, this nemesis, is an animation, so I'll just, you know, let you watch it. Well, that was that one. Uh, we get rid of them. There's some other interesting things in here. I've discovered this is called DOS DOS. Uh, it's a two-pane file manager for Workbench 1.3, and it's you know it's dead useful. It's it's about a millionth the size of 
directory opus, but it does much of the same th same things. So you know you can co copy st copy stuff back and forth and that sort of thing. It's you know one of one of those. It's useful. It saves you opening the shell all the time because obviously there's no show all files on Workbench 1.3. Right, the other thing I want to do on the, this is install games. I know, I mean, I know about WHT Load. I've got another Workbench 3 install with, you know, everything they've ever done. But I want, I want to find ones that will install under Workbench 1.3. Uh, I mean, I'm as interested in the installers as I am in the games. But I want, you know, I want games. So if you know, if you know of any. Uh, you know, let me know. I mean, these are what we've got so far. Come on, there we go. I mean, there's a few th commercial things, a few of them. That's a Frogger clone. Obviously, there's tanks. Uh, Maniac Mansion, Monkey Island Loom. Hollywood's a quiz game, Ultima 6, B-17 Flying Fortress, and a few other things. So if you know of any others, uh, let me let me know. Thank you. That's that's it for this video. Um, I'm sorry it's been shared, but that's why it's called Wombat. 